गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन एम एस सी फिजिक्स सेमेस्टर सेकेंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग क्लासिकल इलेक्ट्रोडायमिक्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर आर सी चौहान एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर सम्राट पृथ्वीराज चौहान गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज ऑफ स्पेन वी आर डिस्कसिंग क्लासिकल इलेक्ट्रोडायमिक्स इन फर्स्ट एंड द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज एनोलोमस डिस्पर्सन एंड रेजिडेंट एब्जर्वेशन वट मीन्स ऑफ द डिस्पर्सन what is anomalous distribution dispersion what is uh, the conditions when this dispersion is considered and what are the resonant absorption will be discussed later on so we start from the definition of the dispersion what means of dispersion in the earlier classes uh, you can see in ug dispersion means the phenomena of the variation of the refractive index of the medium with the frequency or the wavelength is known as the dispersion The example of this one is the the rainbow, where the water droplet uh, can disperse the white light into the seven colors, and we obtain. The, this is due to the variation of the refractive index of the different wavelengths, because different colors have the different wavelength, so that there is the different refractive index for the different colors. That's why we obtain the rainbow. Uh, nowadays, the rainbow is. what types of the dispersion there are the two types of the dispersion number one is the normal dispersion and second is anomalous dispersion what means of the normal dispersion if the refractive index of the medium decreases with the wavelength it is called the normal dispersion mostly uh, the materials follow this conditions normal dispersion but the anomalous dispersion if the refractive index of the medium increases with the wavelength of the medium on increasing the wavelength this the refractive index also increases and then we obtain this the anomalous dispersion we can say dn by d lambda is positive and the for normal this is the negative dn by d lambda is the negative mostly as earlier classes in the class 12th we have discussed this we follow the causes entropy formula and that the square of the you can say the refractive index Is equal to the a plus b by lambda square plus c by lambda for the a b c are constant, and this is nearly equal to the n square equal to the a plus b by lambda square. And finally, if you want to calculate d n by d lambda for this normal dispersion, then that is equal to minus a b by lambda square lambda cube. Sorry. So this gives the dependence of the wavelength of the this refractive index. So this is related with the normal. as earlier discussion about uh, the epsilon that is the permittivity depends on the frequency for the dispersions we can write this is like a first oscillator that we have calculated the equations d2 x by the dt square plus the gamma by m dx by dt where the gamma is the dispersive coefficient sorry that is the damped coefficient and the plus k by m that is the omega 0 square that is the frequency of the system and the e by m that is the first Applied on this one, that is the electrons here. So uh, rearranging this one, the d two x by the d t square plus the gamma d d x by d t plus the omega zero square x equal to the e by m. E can be written capital E. The electric field can be written in the variation of the respect to time is e equal to e zero e raised to power minus eta omega t. So this is just like that. The x equal to x zero e raised to power eta omega t in earlier classes we have calculated, and this gives. The uh, dx by dt is equal to minus i to omega x, and the d two x by dt is square equal to minus omega x square, x, omega square x. On substituting the all values and the equating the terms, we obtain the x equal to e by m e zero e raised to power i to minus i to omega t divided by omega zero square minus omega square minus i to gamma omega. And the x equal to we can write. E E M divided by the M omega zero square omega and so on and so on. Same things. Here the polarization vector, that is the dipole moment per unit volume, can be written in terms of the dipole, that is the capital P equal to the n into the small p, where the n is the total number of the molecules per unit volume. So the capital P is called polarization vector, and the small p is called the dipole moment. This is the relation between these two as in UG classes we have calculated. So the capital P is here. It is the n e square 
multiplied by like FT e divided by m and divided by omega 0 square minus omega square minus beta gamma omega. Equation to show that the all oscillators have the same normal natural frequencies for this one that is the omega 0. But we know that is the in that matter there are the kept n molecules per volume. So, the each molecule have the f1 oscillators whose related values are the omega 1 and the gamma 1 because the different materials have the different positions. So, that have the different coefficient damping coefficient as well as its frequency f2 oscillates with omega 2 and the gamma 2 is the damping coefficient. So, for the general media we can write the capital P equal to the n e. summation of the k f k multiplied by the x k and this can be written like the n square e by the m sigma f k divided by omega square k square minus omega square minus eta gamma k m. Electric positivity it is a small p equal to the alpha into the e. So, the alpha equal to the p by e. So, this can be written the n square n e square m by the m summation f k divided by omega square minus the omega minus eta gamma, gamma m. So, the dielectric constant is 1 plus the 1 by epsilon naught p by epsilon. So, this can be done just like that the 1 plus 1 by epsilon naught n e square by the m sigma f k divided by omega k square minus omega square minus eta gamma k into the m. This so that the dielectric constant is the complex, hence the refractive index is will be also the complex. Both will be the complex means it have the real and the imaginary part, and the real part is related with the attenuation, and the, the imaginary part is related with the coefficients. As earlier, we have calculated the coefficient constant. So, we can conclude this one that the above formula so the dependence of the refractive index on the frequency or the wave known as the dispersion formula. Second, it is the complex quantity which show that it has the absorption of the energy that also possible by the media. And third one for the normal dispersion, the absorption frequency dependence uh, component is the minus eta gamma omega is the very small. So, the epsilon dependence on the omega by the epsilon 0 is the real quantity. So, the n square equal to the 1 plus 1 divided by the 4 pi epsilon naught 4 pi n e square by the m sigma f k divided by the omega k square minus omega because here the iota gamma omega is very very small for the normal dispersion and so this will be the real part. The denominator is the real part, real part. So this so that the electrical index is the real and it is the value is increases with the frequency of the incident wave omega that is called the normal dispersion. Now, we switch over to the next dispersion and that is the anormal dispersion. When the gamma is a small, the absorption term is a small 1 by omega k square minus omega that is the positive and the 1 is omega is less than the omega k this is the positive and the omega is greater than this one that is the negative. The refractive index is the positive the omega gamma by the omega 0 is greater than 1. So, for it is the reverse of the opposite conditions the omega omega greater greater than this is the omega k more negative terms. So, it becomes a negative and the refractive index is the less. So, the it is the become the imaginary omega equal to the omega. for the omega i equal to the omega 1 because there are the many frequencies are there. The so, omega i equal to the omega 1 the natural frequency is second for the omega equal to omega 2 and so, so, so on. So, n square equal to the 1 plus the 1 divided by epsilon n square by the m sigma 1 divided by omega 0 square minus omega square minus eta gamma omega. So, this is just like that 1 by 2 and power can be uh, expanded in the binomial terms. So, finally, n equal to the 1 plus epsilon naught n square by the 2m because that is 1 plus n x 
so 1 divided by omega 0 square minus omega square minus iota gamma omega multiplied by the omega 0 square minus omega square plus iota gamma omega we are multiplying complex conjugate of it omega 0 square minus omega square plus iota gamma omega to obtain the real terms so the n equal to 1 plus n e square by the twice of the not n multiplied by the omega 0 square minus omega plus iota gamma omega divided by omega 0 square minus omega square whole square plus gamma square omega square so we have separated the real part and imaginary part of it and that we obtain the real part is n real plus n imaginary n real is the 1 plus n e square by the twice of the not n multiplied by the omega 0 square minus omega square divided by omega 0 square minus omega square k square plus the gamma square omega square and the n imaginary equal to n square twice of the not n gamma n divided by omega 0 square minus omega square k square plus gamma square omega square so this is just like the curve there is a for the real n there are the some positive releases as well as the negativities of this one this depends on the omega and this will be so called the anonymous dispersion as the second is the normal that is the imaginary so that you know, some peaks is there so this is sufficient for today thank you thank you very much